Good morning. Welcome to a crochet day in my life. So I'm gonna bring y'all along with everything that I crochet today. And I also have a few errands to run and um, things like that. So I'll bring y'all along with my day and I'll show you everything that I crochet by the end of the day. Um, first things first though, every morning I start with my cup of coffee and I like to sit on my porch and read. And today's book is just for the summer. And I'm a pretty slow reader, but you know what? I'm kind of powering through this one by, by my standards. A lot of people <laughs> would probably think I'm still going really slowly, but this one's, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna read my book and then let's get crocheted. Now I have a little bit of time to crochet and I'm planning on doing a pop-up shop soon, which I'm so excited about. So I'm crocheting a bunch of things for that. So I'm going to start with a green mesh bag. I've made several of these already, um, but I'm just going to make a couple more. So I have a good stocked inventory and then I've got some errands to run. So let's just crochet for a minute. So I finished that bag and now I'm have bleh, and now I have to go walk two dogs for a little extra money. And then right after that I have to go get fingerprinted for a new job that I'm starting teaching voice and guitar. And I'm really excited about that. So it's I've never done my own like background check before I had to go get fingerprinted for a job so I don't really know what to expect but I'm bringing some yarn with me to crochet in case I have to wait or something because I'm expecting it to be kind of like like getting your driver's license renewed you know mm. so but we'll see maybe it's quick maybe I can get home and get crocheting again so we'll see but let's go do that <laughs> Okay, so I just finished walking those two dogs and now I'm at the place where I'm gonna get fingerprinted, but I'm here a little bit early, so I think I will crochet in my car for a little bit because I'm like 20 minutes early because I came straight from a dog walk thinking I needed more time than I did. So yeah, I'll crochet in the car because I'm scared to go in because <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I've never been fingerprinted before. And then I'll go in like when there's 10 minutes before I think. Okay, well that was so easy. The lady who did it was so nice. We were like joking around and having a laugh. It was, it was great and it was quick. It was super easy. Also, what was that? When I went in, it was like 90 something degrees and sunny. And when I came out, it's cooled off and raining. Crazy. Anyway, time to go home and now I can really get some crocheting done. Yay. I also did make quite a bit of progress while I waited. I started working on this belt and I got pretty far with it. So let's go home and finish this belt. So my car did this crazy thing and somehow I ended up at Michael's to buy more yarn instead of home. How did that happen? Just kidding. <laughs> so silly. But the craziest thing happened on the way here. I am so scared to drive in Nashville, honestly, because every time I'm out on the road, I see some people doing crazy, crazy stuff. So this time there was this little beat up car that was swerving back and forth between lanes. We're on a six lane highway and there's this truck behind it trying to get in the lane over and they kept like swerving in front of them and stuff. So the truck speeds through six lanes like just like vroom six lanes like cutting people off crazy gets around that one and starts doing the same thing to it so they're just like zigzagging 
like across the six lanes and it was horrifying. I slowed down so much to make sure I was nowhere near that because what? What? Anyway, let's go buy some yarn. I'm so happy. I got the last ball of this yarn that I need for, I think it was the last, it was like one or two left, that I need for this cardigan that I'm making. I'll show you, I started it last night. I'm making the like hexagon granny square cardigan. Look how cute the sleeve looks. So for the other half, I can now do it. So I might finish this tonight after I do finish the belt that I was making. And I also got an email from another coffee shop. So now I have two pop-up shops booked for September. And I've never done a pop-up shop before, so it's gonna be my first two ever, and I'm just so excited. I can't wait. So I've got a lot of crocheting to do, so I'm gonna work on some more belts and all kinds of things. I've got lots of stuff. Yay! So let's get back to crocheting and watching Love Island. It's honestly kind of scary, the rate at which Love Island lingo is creeping into my everyday vocabulary. Proper fit. Anyway, Love Island time. I've decided to snog this boy because... Okay, so I finished a lot of things for pop-up shop prep. And now I want to see how much of the rest of this cardigan I can get done. I'm just obsessed with this yarn. Look how cute and fluffy it is. It looks like honey. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. Still watching Love Island. I'm catching up on the UK uh, most recent season. And oh, man, it's drama, let me tell you. Um, yeah, it's good. I got a text! I've been crocheting so much that there's like an indentation in my finger from the yarn. Can you see that line? But I'm not gonna stop. I might just put a band aid on it and let the yarn run over the band aid instead. Look at that line. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's midnight. So I'm gonna show you what all I managed to crochet today. So first, I crocheted this mesh bag this morning. This will be available at my pop-up shops coming up. Then I crocheted this white belt, also available at the pop-up shops. I love the lacy little pattern, look how cute. And then I also did the belt in green. I forgot I had this yarn left over from a past project and I'm so glad because I love the belt in green as well. And then I made a little turtle. I love making these turtles, I've made so many. So all of these will be available in the pop-up shop. I'm really working on that inventory. And then just for fun, I've been doing that granny square pullover thing. And I'd already had this half done. And today, well actually no, I added five rows here and then I finished part of the next half. It's like that much done. Yeah, this took me a while. This actually takes a hot minute, so. But look how cute. So that is what I crocheted today. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been, it's been lots of fun and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was at least somewhat interesting to watch. And I'll see you next time. Bye!